flow 250 series combine operation guide in this video we shall be looking at the grain tank its features access and crop adjustments during harvest a sample can be taken from the hatch by the cab door however from time to time it will be necessary to climb into the grain tank before accessing the grain tank from within the cab fully open the lids and, as necessary, fold down the chopper straw chutes. Access to the grain tank is via the rear ladder and engine platform. Not forgetting, of course, the handrail step up onto the engine covers. From this viewpoint, you can identify the bubble up or centralizing auger, the folding bracketry and mechanism, the twin unloading cross augers, the grain sample chute, and the window between the tank and the cab. Carefully climb down into the tank, and at the front, you will see the location of the three quarter and full grain tank pressure pads, the antenna, the work light, and the camera wiring location. Crop unloading speed is controlled by the adjustable cross auger apex. These apexes can be easily raised or lowered to increase or decrease the crop flow into the unloading system. At one end are spring loaded pins and at the other location dowels. Release the spring pins, place the dowels into the correct height, followed by the spring pin. Be aware that too wide in damp, heavy conditions could break the unloading drive shear bolts and cause downtime while pressure on the augers is released by manually unloading the grain tank. The pressure pads are adjustable for different crops on sliding mounts. If it is felt that the warnings are too early and you're not getting a full tank, or too late and the tank is overflowing, then slide the pads up or down respectively to adjust the time limit. It is possible to harvest a minimal amount with the grain tank lids closed, but the advice is only up to the middle of the viewing window across to the opposite steps. Any more could damage the centralizing auger and bracketry. And remember, the golden rule is only ever open or close the tank lids with an empty grain tank. If not, you will damage the centralizing auger and bracketry. From inside the tank, there are panels giving access through the bottom to the cage vanes and rotor gearbox, through the top rear right to the clean grain elevator drive chain for lubrication and tension adjustment, and through the top central right to the yield sensor plate for inspection and cleaning, especially after combining dirty crops such as peas and soya bean. Similarly, it may occasionally be necessary to clean the bubble up auger, especially after peas or similar dirt contaminated crops. Allowing dirt to accumulate will prematurely wear out the auger flights and gearbox bearings. Check the oil levels of both bubble up gearboxes every winter or every 300 hours. Leaving the tank, climb over the engine covers and descend the rear ladder. Do not forget to lower the handrail. Always remember that more comprehensive information can be found in the operator's manual which should be read prior to harvest operations, maintenance and repairs. Thank you for watching and have a great season.